But perhaps, I mean, Russia thinks its, its response can simply be assumed. They say that you and the ICG, ICJ, I'm sorry, are simply, you know, a cog in the wheel of the Western propaganda machine. Uh, well, I think that uh, there is really no basis whatsoever for saying that. The International Court of Justice is composed of 15 judges from around the world. There's a Russian judge, there's a Chinese judge, there are judges from uh, Africa, Latin America. And the International Court of Justice has resolved disputes uh, between states from all over the world. So if Russia now is going to fall back on its uh, sort of Soviet Cold War propaganda that the court is pro-Western, uh, well, I think then President Medvedev and Prime Minister Putin uh, shouldn't have been going around uh, saying that we're going to take Georgia to The Hague. Okay, uh, we're, we're down to our last few minutes, Payam, so I'd, I'd like to ask you, on a, maybe on a personal level, what kind of, of example maybe you hope this case will set? Perhaps that it will show every country is equal in the eyes of the ICJ. It's, it's not just a court for powerful countries to prosecute weaker ones. Well, I think that uh, international law uh, is the equalizer. Uh, if we look at uh, international relations purely through the prism of power, uh, then there is no hope for small nations. And the United Nations Charter tells us that it is for nations large and small. And if there ever was a David and Goliath contest, well, it is between Russia and Georgia. Uh, the, uh, uh, and international law is the last refuge for a nation such as Georgia. So I think that uh, this is really a litmus test for international law, and it will challenge Russia to conduct itself uh, in accordance with United Nations Charter and fundamental human rights principles. Would you, would you like to see Western democracies then politically doing more for Georgia right now? Do you think Georgia has been getting all the help that uh, it should expect and deserves from its allies? Well, uh, it's not for me to speak uh, on behalf of the Georgian government. I think President Saakashvili has made uh, numerous comments uh, critical uh, of the lack of Western support. Uh, there are suggestions that uh, Russia is simply uh, too powerful uh, and uh, that uh, on balance uh, some of the Western governments have been more interested in preserving their relations with Russia rather than looking at this through the prism of justice and, and, and what uh, international law tells us is right and wrong. So okay. I think that, uh, uh, once again, uh, the, the reference of this dispute to the International Court of Justice is significant because ultimately the dispute should be resolved not based on power but based on what is right and just under international law. And if Russia is committed to international law as it claims to be, let it come before the court and let the court decide what a just resolution of this dispute will okay. be. Okay. Paya Makavan, legal advisor to Georgia, the International Court of Justice. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.